Why do photographers make vlogs? That's been a topic of discussion online for a few weeks now, I've noticed. And actually somebody asked me the other day, why do I do it? And my quick and easy answer was, because it's fun. <laughs> it really is fun. The more I thought about it, I realized there's got to be more than just being fun and a creative outlet. So I reached out to some of my friends and fellow landscape photographers that are very uh, prolific vloggers and asked them the question. And they very kindly sent me their clips and gave me their answers. And I'm going to show you in a minute. It's pretty interesting. So while everybody was busy this past week making their clips to send me and probably doing a lot of thinking themselves, I gave it some further thought and I came up with these three answers to the question. Number one, yes, I, I do enjoy it. It's fun. That's certainly a main reason to, to go out and, and do this. It's, it's creative and for me, I need to create. I also do this because I feel like I belong to part of a community. There is a very strong landscape photographer and travel photographer vlogging community on YouTube. And I, I've only been doing this for four months and already I feel part of that community and I've made friends and we're, we're talking about meeting up in person and collaborations. I mean, that's fantastic. We get each other, we understand the challenges and the difficulties and we talk about the equipment and the, and the techniques and share ideas. So community is number two. Number three, number three is interesting. I really enjoy filmmaking, video production, but I want to do more. The best way to do it is to jump in the deep end, throw yourself outside of your comfort zone and put yourself in the public spotlight with a YouTube channel. I've been doing this for four months now and I'm putting out stuff that I wouldn't normally do. I don't think it's good enough, but that's no excuse. You just got to keep putting out content and the only way you're going to get really good at something is to keep experimenting, trying, testing, creating, publishing, creating, publishing and just keep doing it. And, and the, the, the mediocre stuff and the bad mistakes will start to iron themselves out and things will just get better and better. That's, that's it. It's kind of a bit of a long answer, really, isn't it? So let's see what the others have to say. So the question is, why do I vlog? Well, it really goes back to my passion for landscape photography. And that passion for landscape photography is driven for a desire to be outdoors, to spend time with Mother Nature out in these hills and down by the coast. I really love spending time outdoors and, and walking about the countryside. And because I have that passion, I like to capture images of where I've been and what I've been up to. So a natural extension for me, once I took up landscape photography, was then to start vlogging about it. And the idea behind my vlogs is I just, just want to tell a story, share my adventures, um, so other people can take some inspiration. So really for me, vlogging is all about sharing. It's about telling a story, sharing an adventure, and hopefully giving some other photographers or even non-photographers a bit of inspiration, a bit of encouragement to get out there and see the great outdoors. So Simon Byrne, that's a very good question. Why do I vlog? For me, keeps me motivated, keeps me getting out here in the great outdoors, enjoying what I do, which is landscape photography. Another reason, I like being in front of the camera, to be honest, I've, and I always have been since a young age, been a member of the drama clubs, like to, pe like to make people laugh, always been a bit of a joker. Calm down, actually, surprising or not. Lastly, recognition. I love comments above anything else, likes and comments on my channel. I love to interact with people and this is just another media and format which I can do that. So that's the reason. I just enjoy it. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to carry on enjoying my woodland walk without my big DSLR and tripod. See you in a bit. And for me, it's very very simple it boils down to two things um one being youtube is the second biggest search engine second to google so if you want exposure pardon the punt but if you do want exposure then youtube is the way to go to get 
to try and get noticed and get your photography content out there. Uh, it's definitely a great, great tool to have. Um, and secondly, photography for me is something that it has to mean something to you. When I take it, when I go and do photography and, and take images, I have to have a connection between the image um, and also build a story within myself that why I'm taking that photograph uh, and and all that starts with the journey to the location so it's about adventure and exploration and doing vlogs it allows me to bring you guys on that journey with me and interact anyone who wants to watch my channel it interacts everybody and you can see from start to finish from me leaving my home to get into a location to actually taking photographs, settings, etc., and then seeing the final outcome. So that is why I do vlogging. Vlogging is such a very, very important tool now uh, within the photography industry, um, and it's something that's just going to grow and grow and grow because there's so much, there's so much that changes all the time. And that is a very, very good thing because you need to keep on top of everything like photography skills, videography skills. And I and I am I'm I am very, very basic learning skills with videography. I uh, studied photography and got all my qualifications for that. Uh, so videography is something that it's self taught. So yeah, thank you for asking me the question and I hope that answers your question. Um, and again, I've been Paul and ML5 Photo. Check me out, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye bye for now. Bye. I first started vlogging as another way to share my work with the world. Since then, vlogging has become much more. It's an art form in itself, and one I'm enjoying in learning. Since I created my channel, I've discovered a fantastic community around vlogging, and there are many vloggers I now call friends. Vlogging motivates me to get out and gives me a reason to pursue my hobby, but most of all, I do it because I enjoy it. The reasons why I vlog is I love filmmaking, I love editing, and I like photography. So I get to do the three things I love by vlogging. Um, I think vlogging is good because it keeps a record really of all the locations that you uh, visit. So if you want to go back to a certain location because you didn't know like how the light was working and so on, you know, it's like a reference you can go back to and uh, look at the vlogs. Uh, I think another good thing about vlogging, I suppose, is when you're long gone, you're six foot under, and as long as YouTube's still going, uh, I guess your kids and your family can uh, look back on the work you did. So you're kind of leaving something. So they're the reasons why I like vlogging. Why do I vlog? Well, that's, that's a really good question. And the answer is actually different to the answer to the question, why did I start vlogging? But I, I, I guess I vlog for a couple of reasons, really. The, the first reason is it's really, really good fun. Um, so I've been enjoying photography now for about 12 or 13 years. Um, and I enjoy the process of going out with a camera and taking photographs and then editing the photos. Um, and making these videos is uh, very, very similar. You know, you're out with cameras, using cameras all the time. Um, and then there's the post-processing aspect of it as well, the putting the videos together. Uh, the second uh, reason is the community. So I've made a huge amount of friends since I started vlogging um, just under a year ago. I have some really, really good friends, um, but it, both vloggers and non-vloggers. Um, and you know that's, that's really the main reason why I continue today. Right Simon, why do I do a landscape photography vlog? Well sometimes I ask myself that question because it does complicate um, just doing your normal photography, it can really complicate it and make it quite difficult. But why do I do it? Well, I think because I've been doing photography such a long time, digital photography, I think I've got a few tricks that, and tips that people would find useful so I do like to pass that across. And also, you know, I like to try and make it entertaining. You know, I don't like to make it sort of a, like a teacher telling kids what to do. 
um, you know, I like it to be fun and a bit of a laugh and also show some bits of the British countryside, especially, you know, around where I live or like up in the Peak District here, which isn't far from where I live. And I suppose the other reason I like to do it is I, I like to talk to myself and do it without getting arrested. So the reason why I started was kind of going back 15 years ago, um, I bought my first SLR camera, mainly to shoot landscapes. And, you know, as my children kind of come along, I started taking portraits of them and a few people kind of saying nice things about my portraits. And kind of fast forward three years or so, I started shooting weddings for people, friends and, you know, and then it kind of evolved from there. I decided actually I wanted to become uh, a full-time photographer. So, um, you know, I took, took the ball by the horns, worked hard, studied hard, um, done lots of workshops, worked with other people, and eventually turned full-time. So I, I shoot documentary style wedding and portrait photography. Uh, it's my full-time job now. And, um, you know, I finally got into a position where now my business is established and I've got a lot more free time. So I spent a lot, a lot of time working two jobs and it was incredibly hard, really difficult. But now I've got more free time and I really wanted to kind of get back to the reason I got into photography to start with because over the last 10 years I'd hardly shot any photographs for myself. I've never done anything. It was all about progressing in my job and trying to create a career for myself. So. It really, the channel really was about me getting out there and um, you know capturing some images and just falling back in love with photography again for for personal reasons. So the the idea of the channel was to kind of hopefully inspire myself to get out there and shoot more, but also to inspire other people as well to get out there, get into the great outdoors, shoot some images, and hopefully I can share some of the things that I've learned along the way over the last fifteen years. So. It's, a, it's it, the channel really is part inspirational, part educational, hopefully, and I hope I hope you know moving forward the the, the channel does inspire others to to get out there and, and just grab their camera and go and shoot. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, thanks, Simon, again. Cheers, guys. A huge thank you to all of the guys in this video that took the time to answer my question and send me their clips. Please check them all out, they're all fantastic. I, I watch all of their stuff religiously. You need to follow them all, subscribe to all of them, check out what they're doing. All the links will be below to their channels, so please subscribe. Subscribe to this one first though, and then the rest, right? And hit that bell because you'll be notified when new stuff comes out to watch. So thank you for your time, thanks for watching, I hope you found this interesting and I hope to see you again soon. Can you hear those geese? Get the geese off. There you go. Just hold on a sec. Are we done? <laughs>